Today's video, we're gonna be going over one of the best blitzes in Madden 24. It is the Nickel Blitz Zero out of the Nickel 3-3 formation in really a lot of different playbooks. I'm using the multiple defensive playbook. It's also in the Chiefs playbook, the 4-6 playbook. If you guys wanna get my entire Nickel 3-3 defensive ebook, it's available for our Patreon members. If you're not a Patreon member yet, it's only $10 to be a Patreon member, and it gets you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. We've got over 15 different ebooks that have been updated throughout the year, are continuing to see updates literally this week. We're dropping uh, massive updates to this nickel 3-3 defense. So if you're not in the Patreon yet, I'd really encourage you to sign up. It will help make you a better Madden player. And to sign up, all you got to do is go down to the description and click the link down below. We're talking today about the nickel blitz zero and the nickel 3-3 formation. And for this blitz, you're going to want to turn auto flip off. And really, that's the only thing you have to do for the blitzing component of this. And then also one of my big tips for this is to have safeties at the linebacker position, at least at the spots that you're going to be blitzing because it will make the blitz come in a little bit better. Higher agility players with better change of direction are going to make this blitz significantly more effective. Now, the way we're going to set the splits up is we are actually, whoops, I apologize, I messed it up. We are actually going to flip our formation, which is the whole purpose of turning auto flip off. So we're going to flip this play. And then what we're going to do is we are going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to shift our linebackers to the left, and then we're going to blitz all of our linebackers. Now, from here, we're going to go ahead and make some different coverage adjustments that will help us defend formations like bunch, for example. What I like to do with this is we're actually just going to hard flat this uh, linebacker here, or I apologize, this slot corner. And then you can stand about right here with your user. Now, obviously, the running back is open. So if the running back goes on a route, you're going to need to go user the running back. But as you can see, we're going to get this A-gap pressure. One of the cool parts about this blitz, one of the more underrated parts about this blitz, is you can actually get this pressure only sending four people. So to get this pressure only sending four people, all you're going to do is essentially zone out that corner, that linebacker. So we're going to put that linebacker here in a curl flat. So we have an outside third curl flat combo to be able to slow down the bunch side. And then we have a cross man on the tight end to slow down things like verticals. And then the hard flat defender is going to do a really good job. Another thing you could do if you want is you could do something like this. It's actually one of my favorite adjustments to do against bunch a defense like this very effective for stopping corner routes and what you can see is sometimes this guy will come through uh, the a gap another thing that's really underrated about this defense is it gets a lot of really good disengages and i think one of the other things that's super underrated about this is you can run an entire pressure package what i mean by an entire pressure package is you can send four uh, or sorry you can send three you can send four you can send five you can send six and you could technically send seven, but you can send six people all from the same look, or you could send three. So you have a lot of different blitzing components that are gonna make this uh, defense significantly better. One of the other cool parts about the five-man pressure is that a lot of times with this five-man pressure, quick pro tip for this is to, if, when you're coming out, you're always gonna wanna use this linebacker. If you just kind of slightly move him before you shift your linebackers, he won't move, and that will significantly save you. It'll just save you a step. But anyways, one of the cool parts is, let's say they are blocking their running back here. A lot of times this blitz can still come come in against a blocked running back or at least get a quick shed for a sack. So whether they block their running back or they block their tight end, this blitz still has a lot of capabilities of being able to come in. Another cool part uh, about this is this allows us to do things like the scissor adjustment against bunch, one of the best adjustments every single year. And just by simply manning up the bunch side, what I would really recommend doing with that with uh, with this coverage is shade inside and over top. The reason you want to say shade inside and over top is it will help defend things like post routes, crossing routes, things like that. And then, like I said, you know, if they if they do uh, put the running back on a route, notice that the scissor will create a double team on the isolated receiver. And a lot of times you're still going to be able to get pressure. The nickel 3-3 defense is very good, not just because it gets great pressure, but because you can stop the run. There's a lot of different things you can do from a coverage perspective against this defense that I think makes this one of the best defenses in the entire game. If you guys want to get my entire nickel 3-3 defensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. You can do that by clicking the link down in the description below.